International panic and concern today as news of what is being called a minor nuclear accident spreads from the Black Mesa facility in New Mexico. The internationally renowned science complex staffs over 1,500 employees from over 75 countries. With little news from New Mexico, world leaders have requested information on the now rapidly developing situation. The nature of this Black Mesa incident necessitates transparency from the United States government. The United Kingdom respectfully requests news from President Clinton as to the status of the dozens of British men and women employed at the facility and stands ready to assist in any way possible. Speaking on behalf of the Australian peoples, I too wish to extend an official inquiry. President Bill Clinton has announced the deployment of 2,000 military personnel to the now 150 mile exclusion zone around the facility. If you're a resident of New Mexico currently within that uh, radius, you should be seeking out government officials in your area for assistance in relocating. Amidst this chaos, NASA has reported the unanticipated activation of an unknown satellite, apparently launched from the mainland United States in the last 24 hours. While this has prompted some to speculate a connection between the current events in New Mexico and this unknown rocket launch, the president is denying any link. I want to make it very clear that the rocket launch currently under investigation by NASA is, to the best of our knowledge, unconnected to Black Mesa. Many, however, are not pleased with the tight-lipped stance the White House has been taking, with Vice President-elect Dick Cheney criticizing Clinton's attitude as laissez-faire in the face of a massive national security risk. He went on to say that Clinton owed the American people the truth and a prompt report on the events at Black Mesa. It's uh, worrying that the Clinton administration is choosing to keep the American people in the dark regarding what could be the most significant threat to national security of the last decade. However, the White House maintains that the primary focus of this incident should be on the well-being of those in the surrounding areas, not commenting on the state of the armed forces deployed to Black Mesa or its 1,500 employees. It's clear to many that this is just the beginning of what is speculated to be one of the most expensive recovery operations in U.S. history. Carl Kinanilla, NBC News, New Mexico.